Hey people on the internet, this is RC3000 and welcome back to my last play of Roger and Clank. In the last episode, we finished off stuff on Olven and found out that Wreck is using this base to attack uh, this planet as is right behind us, which is, which I can't even see from here, so much for that, uh, Planet Altenis, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, here we have the map. Yeah, this Altanis, Altanis, whatever. It's the, it, it, we are in the orbit where the Drake is attacking that planet for some reason, and right now we're trying to find him and see if we can get him. But it seems like his ship is not here. It might be here. It might not be. Who knows? Who cares? I don't. <laughs> okay, I probably should. I'm was playing this game. But anyways, we have a map. There's only one mission in this game, which is explore the base, so we can find a faster ship to catch up with Drake, possibly. And we're possibly gonna do that in the next episode. <laughs> bye bye. Wait, we're not gonna end the episode just yet. What I mean, anyway. I don't even know what the hell am I talking about anymore. Anymore. I'll just speak English with RC3000. You don't speak like that. Anyways, there's one skill point and one go both in this planet, and both of them need the visa bomb gun. Okay, one of them doesn't actually need the visa bomb gun, but if you don't do it at the first time, you have to do it in challenge mode. Unless you do it with a visa bomb gun, which, eh, I'll explain that in the next episode because that's what I'm gonna do, the thing that will allow you to do that, the skill point the other way. But for now, let's do the, the normal way, which is using the visa bomb gun. The skill point involves you destroying this seating ducks right here. And by seating ducks, I mean these um, ships that are standing here. Uh, there's a total of eight. Right now, from here, we can get seven, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, and since we have the Persuader at this point, we uh, have a discount on this weapon, on the Visa Bomb Gun, which is, should be 10,000 bolts if I'm not wrong. And that should be enough to buy, uh, easier to buy than just 15,000 bolts. Because you're gonna need it if you want to collect the gold bolts and possibly the skill point. Okay, that's four. Uh, I forget where the other ones are. Guess I just have to explore! Uh, this could take a while. <laughs> ah, okay. I forgot all my. I think there were four, five. Okay, so the other ones are in this side then. Yeah, those. Okay, and then there's just one last one which, which we cannot get with the visa bomb here. We will see soon enough though. We will see pretty much at the end of this episode actually. Or at least the part where I'm thinking of ending this episode, but we'll see. Now I'm not sure if these things actually respawn after you die, but uh, hopefully if you don't die, I don't think they would respawn, but I'm not sure on that one, but, you know, anyways, now that we are done with that, we can just jump down, since we already took 7 of the 8, and the 8 is like in a really hidden spot. And here we have a few new enemies, actually just a bunch of one of the new enemies, uh, it's the workers, or whatever they call I don't know how to pronounce them much. Actually, they resemble much of the design of um, a character from the future series, which is called Zephyrith? Zephyrith? I don't know his name. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, even though the game pronounces it so many times. But his face does look a lot like these things, actually. Those enemies only have one health, you can use the sack cannon on them, they are pretty weak. I actually will use the drone device on them most of the time, but I just decided to beat them with the wrench. But anyways, this tower's here, we need to devastate here or the visa bomb gun to destroy them, in order to proceed here. Uh, yeah, the drone devices are best to use against weak enemies like these. Just makes it easier. I think I only... wait, how many drone devices do they use? Ah, well, whatever, I'm just wasting time thinking. Now this is actually one of my favorite um, levels in the game because, like I said in like, um, what's it called, Bark Station? Yeah, in the Bark Station I did like it because of the, the space and Neptune! I'll not get over that ever, ever, ever! But anyways, I do like a, a, like a space kind of team to this. Um, and we can see the sun. There's not many planets in, around this one, just a planet alternate that I guess those are moons of Altenus, or maybe not, I'm just making that up. 
Eat a waste. Okay, over here we have technically a new enemy, but they are just block troopers using a machine gun. Decoy glove is really good. Uh, the drones will actually react to the, those kind of attacks, as you probably noticed back there. But I, know, I, I prefer using the decoy glove; is a lot better. This guy's unlike most of the bar troopers; only have one health, so you can just beat it with one wrench. Even though I did use the hyper strike there. Uh, we're gonna be using a lot of transfers, so I recommend you having them in a quick select, unless you just love to go into the menu for no reason. But in the last play perspective, it's a lot better just me putting everything on the well, everything I need in my quick select, like the slingshot, which I'm only gonna use once, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, let's use a transpasser over here and solve some puzzles, which might take some time. Okay. Okay, that one was, wasn't too hard. So these enemies are not too hard if you use the decoy grab. You can also use the drone device to actually block some of the bullets, but it's not... It's not really that great on doing that for some reason, it's just not... I'd rather just use a decoy glove, it's a lot better. I mean, and it was what it was meant to do anyway, so might as well. Since in version Queen 2, it doesn't very rogue work. I don't know how to speak English uh, today. I don't know what's wrong with me. So we have another transpasser puzzle, which I shall solve with my amazing abilities of playing Professor Layton. Ha <laughs> ha, no. Uh, this is not the solution. Some puzzles do take a while if you're not used to doing them, but uh, yeah, like, like in Pokitaro, I'm sometimes not very good at puzzles, I just, sometimes my hands just doesn't feel like uh, solving puzzles, but you know, that happens to everyone at once in a while, they have like a blank, and this guy's again, you can just break the elm and then just take out the, um, <laughs> the oxygen, just kind of evil of us now that I think about it. Uh, speaking of which, actually, uh, if you actually buy a weapon in this planet, because, well, a radio station, or, I forgot what this is, a base, yes. <laughs> if you actually buy a weapon in, um, in this place, which you don't get any new weapon at this point, until the next planet, actually, uh, you, if you were to buy a weapon in this thing, and I'm taking so long to say what, it, uh, what happens, you get the animation for the weapon. But since you, since they apparently, Sonic forgot to animate the that animations with the the old two mask, they didn't. When you buy a weapon here, Roger won't have the old two mask. Which is kind of funny since you shouldn't actually be able to breathe. Now these enemies here are the Bark Space Fighters, which are kind of like the fighters that you actually use in the space combat. Uh, these guys have a lot of health. I'm not sure how much health exactly they have, but the bomb gun can just take care of them easy. I think it takes three devastators to destroy, uh, three, three devastator ammo to destroy them. So, actually, we shall try that really soon, right now. You're my test subject. There goes one. Okay, I guess he only takes two of them, and since the visible gun is six, I'm gonna guess this thing has like six of health. And now, uh, be careful with these things, they kind of work slightly like the TNT boxes, except when you touch them, they don't blow up 
they don't start the countdown to pull up, but they do do a big explosion and damage you. And everything else, like for example that guy. Ah, I'm disappointed. Ah, okay, that's a lot better. <laughs> I wanted them to destroy that himself and so we can just uh, like co commit suicide. <laughs> Ow. Wow, that that was quite funny actually. I just hit that thing, got damaged, and then got the nana dead. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh, actually, I am. I was almost forgetting this for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I just can't speak English, and I can't really memorize what I'm supposed to do. But here is the reason why we need the visibomb gun on the on this planet to get one of the gold bolts. Uh. First of, first of all, I have to find where the opening is. Fudge. Uh, I'll find it. I think it's here. Yes, it is, and that's kind of a bad angle. Okay, so we have to enter that part there. Just have to get the right angle. Actually, you can do this from like the beginning of the level, which probably would be easier for me. But eh, challenging. And wasting ammo of the visa bomb gun, which is one of the most expensive ammo in this game, so I don't know what the fuck am I doing. Yeah, this was not a good idea. You probably should have done this in the beginning of the level. <laughs> Why are you following my last play? Why are you watching this? Oh god, I'm horrible at this apparently. Hopefully I can do this in 8 ammo, or otherwise I'll say fuck at the end. Okay, finally. Okay, that thing will open a gate that we will find soon enough, actually. And I wasted a bunch of visible ammo, so I probably will use most of it the devastator instead, so I don't waste too much of visible. But anyways. Ha! Huh, who needs to attack when I have my drones? Mostly because I can't really find any other use to this weapon. So I just used to kill swarmers, which I can normally kill by by using the ranch. It's kind of embarrassing now to think about it. Anyways, thanks to the fact that we use the visible bomb, we open this pad, we go into acid and jump once, and got this go bolt, the only go bolt in this planet. So, okay, we already got all the go bolts in this planet already. Or base, which I completely forgot this is not a planet, but the base. But, you know, I'm just gonna keep calling it a planet no matter what. Okay, so we have to watch our timing here so we don't get much damage by the acid. Okay, here we have like three Borg Spatians or whatever they call. I actually forgot. Uh, Borg Space Commander, that's what they call. Let's use the Devils here to take care of those three. That's always fun. And uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I have this on a quick select. I forgot I put everything on the quick select. Everything I need. Everything. Everything. Okay, maybe not everything, but you get the idea. So, I got a few Visabomb ammo. Actually, one thing I forgot to say about the drones, if you like use the drones, um, why, for example, I have two right now, they will, using the drones right now would just, um, respawn the, the, like, six, four more, I believe, because I forgot how many drones this spawns, actually. Actually, I'll actually show that right now, just for the sake of last play. For last play's sake. And yeah, be careful not to get, uh, if you touch that lava, you will automatically die. So... Oh, you bastard! Okay, that took care of that. If you, like, spawn the drones, it will just spawn the remaining drones, which in that case, we needed four more. So that's what I wanted to show off. Even though I can't, it's kind of a waste of ammo, to be completely honest, but eh. I don't use the drones a lot, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Now this is the hardest part in the game. Not hitting that acid. See what I mean? It doesn't sometimes it sometimes it grabs, sometimes it doesn't. It just It's kinda just doesn't decide to do that. I normally just hit the acid anyway, so 
I get up there, so... And I just don't know how to go to an elevator anymore. <laughs> how to go to an elevator by IC. How to speak English. How to not do a let's play and how to go into an elevator. That's the new books I'm writing right now. Okay, over here we have more of these quackers or whatever they call forever. I'm just gonna call silly guys. Anyways, here we have a view for the sun and a vendor. So if you need ammo, you can go ahead and buy it. But right now, the only thing we need is destroying that tower over there by using this opening so we can open that gate. Pretty simple. Now over here, we have a bark... Whatever, I've... I'm not very good at names in case you didn't... Oh, shit! Yeah, they shoot really oming things, which I cannot pronounce, and I just missed that one. That was crap. And waste of ammo as well. Why the fuck am I so suicidal today? I'm just doing that way too close. I think the explosions for these things are a lot bigger than them. The explosions for the TNT boxes. But anyways, here we have another transpasser, which is technically optional if you want to go through those machine guns like here. Which I guess if you use the droves, it could make it easier. And I probably should get that nanotech before I die. It's a good idea because this level is actually not that easy if you're just a beginner which actually I took a long time to beat this level and seeing how the checkpoints in this game are really bad uh, yeah I recommend you have as much as health as you should also if you have the alternate nanotet but that's another story so anyways we have a thrust past the puzzle so let's solve that okay I finally randomly solved that puzzle Seriously, some of these puzzles I can't just figure it out by myself. Okay, I did figure it out randomly by myself, but that's the point, you know. Anyways, we're gonna destroy these guys over here, so we can proceed there with no problem, even though I only have two nanotech, which is probably I should have been a lot more careful than I am doing right now. But I guess that's what happens when you, it's the curse of the last play and such. Which is probably why it took so long with that puzzle, but you didn't notice that because I probably did it. And if I didn't it, 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 what are you doing, my future self? It did these things. That's your job. As your my future self, you must eat it. You're cursed to eat it forever and ever. Okay, maybe not ever and ever, but you get the picture. <laughs> well, that's the way to do it. <laughs> I just wanted to attract those enemies down, but the guy, those guys are still it instead for no reason. We are just assholes. We're just gonna kill our own friends. Yeah, let's escape here into the safe zone. I'm scared. Those things hurt. It's not fun receiving like a missile to the face. Like this guy's are gonna experience mint. Okay, now we're done with those guys. Uh another tent over here, so we might as well collect that. And uh, now here we have like these three pods, which I'll just switch for a bit for the blaster. Uh, which we can kill these guys over here, which will make our life a lot easier. Just need a bullet, just like every enemy that has one health for some reason dies by a bullet. For some weird reason. I mean, come on, this is, the, bark, the normal bark troopers have like 2 health, these guys are like special and they don't only have uh, like 2 health for some reason. Then again, do I really care? Not really. Let's ignore them. You know, this one seems like he has a fence, but I haven't seen any fences here, ever. Hmm. wonder what's the point of that then. Anyways, I re um, um, I don't know what I was gonna say. Uh, I hope you actually got a lot of ammo because we're gonna do a bunch of fighting. I'm actually we're gonna put the drone device and probably use the power cider because this area here is gonna have a lot of enemies. So let's be careful here, really, really careful because there will be a lot of enemies. So let's do this shit. That's a lot of enemies. Okay, the first thing we need to do is. Walk on what you should should not be able to walk in. 
yeah. <laughs> Actually, I should have already stopped, but if you keep just walking, you can just walk on this. It's quite funny. But anyways, if you let go, you can just go down. So anyways, first things first, not running in that place. Okay, let's get a, a, a few nanos that. The first things you need to do is destroy this regenerator so they won't regen more of those walkers or whatever they're called. Or whatever they are pronounced. I'll never know how to pronounce anything in this game ever. Actually, I don't know how to pronounce anything ever. How can you understand me? Can you understand me? Oh, by the way, that's the last ship we need to destroy. I think I destroyed all the fucking things. Okay, that's good. Let's use the decoy glove for a bit. Just to have some decoys. Now, Engines of Doom. Well, that only moves you, my friend. How are you doing? So, uh, you gonna keep attacking that guy? Yeah, you do that. I'm just gonna kill you and take your oxygen out. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Okay, now that we're the uh, the cool square, we can use that elevator. But before we do that, and there we go, we got all the eight space uh, ships, whatever they are, and we got the skill points. So we're done with this planet with both gold bolts and skill points. So I think I'm I'm gonna stop right here because right after this, we're gonna have a lot of cutscenes and a boss. So I'll leave the things for the next episode. Specifically because there's also a, a new thing that I should show you that is actually have to do with the gold bolts that we have been collecting. Yes, we are been in t two turns already in the game and finally we're gonna know what the gold bolts actually do. But that will be in the next episode, so I'll see you guys next week for the next episode of Let's Play Version Clanks. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye.